All right, we were just out for a ride today out in North Fort Collins and uh, ran across this father-daughter, right? Briar Rose and Ben running across the country for all of all things. Tell us about how your journey's going and why you're doing this. I started this, um, I first got the idea to do this when COVID started. And also when COVID starts, that's when all my running races and figure skating got shut down. So I was trying to think what could I do during the time. And I suddenly thought now we live in Florida. And I originally thought, oh, maybe I could do a run from Disney World to Disneyland. Ah. And then once I got looking into it, I realized that wouldn't count for an official record. So I decided to, the official record is from San Francisco City Hall to New York City Hall. So that's why I decided to change it. And I also added in the beaches on either side so I can be a true wet foot to wet foot coast to coaster. Wet foot to wet foot. Okay. And this is an official route. Mm -hmm. Yes. How many miles is um, the official route? It's about 3,400. Yeah, 3,400. And you're 15? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Not many 15 year Yeah. So what is the youngest for, for the ever to do this? Uh, there isn't um, an official youngest. Yeah. But the only person that we know that has done the route across, I think, is like 21. There's yeah, some younger the kids route. around like 11, 12, but they did not do the official route. They did a walking route. They took about a year to go across mm -hmm. the southern route, which is a diff completely different route. Okay. Um, so this is the official, this is the same route that Pete Kosselnick ran, who has the official Guinness World Record as the fastest crosser, um, you know, from San Francisco to New York. Okay. And when did you start? June 20th. June 20th. Mm -hmm. Father's Day. Yeah. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> yep. And so what's been like some, what would, what would you say has been the most fun part of it so far? The most fun? Yeah. Um, you got to have some fun doing uh, this, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you love seeing the stars in oh, the yeah, Yosemite. Oh, yeah. Yosemite is really good for the stars. I love that. And even yeah. Nevada and Utah, just seeing the, the sky yeah. with nothing around. I mean, you know, where we're from, there's lights everywhere. So yeah. just being able to see that. It was the first time she ever saw the Milky Way. She was mm -hmm. like, this ah. is awesome. Yeah. This is so cool. Yeah. So that was a big, big plus. And you're trying to run about 40 miles a day? Yes. We're trying to average about average 40 about miles. That. We haven't been able to do that so far with the hills and climbing, you know, 12,000 feet in Yosemite and almost 11,000 feet here. And yeah. okay. it's been hard. It's coming from Florida where it's flat. Yeah. I'm not used to hills. <laughs> it's not easy. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, now, we, now we're getting out on, you know, more of the plains and that kind of thing. We're hoping to increase and get our mileage back up to where it should be. Got it. And then this is your support vehicle and you. Do you take little naps and you sleep every now and again? Is that what happens here? Yeah, so yeah. I mean what we do is we take breaks, we try and take, we try and split up the runs throughout the day, obviously refuel, make sure we have the hydration with us that we need. Um, if she needs a rest, take a rest, do some, you know, massage, whatever she needs to do to, yeah. to you know, be able to keep going. And then at night time we try and sleep. Um, a couple of times we've actually had, because it's been so hot during the day, like 110 mm -hmm. plus during the day, we actually had to reverse and run nights nice. nice. yeah. during the day. Yeah. Interesting. So it's been, there's so many variables involved in doing this. It's not like just going out for a race. Yeah. You, can't prepare, you try and prepare as much as you can, but you have to alter things as you go along. And you're re re doing all of this fun for what cause? For Achilles International. Okay. That's the charity I'm running for. They help everyone with all disabilities through kids and adults. And they do it all around the world as well and they help them with social interaction, they give them the equipment they need to get back out into any kind of race, anything any like they want to do, they give them the support they need, and they also have an Achilles Freedom Team, and they help, they actually go into Walter Reed Clinic, and they get all the veterans out with, again, the social activities, the equipment, and they get back out to races like the Marine Corps, the Boston Marathon, and New York Marathon, things like uh, that. Oh, okay. And how do people follow you? Through Instagram, it's the dot running dot rose. Okay. And through Facebook, it's Briar dash Rose H dash S. Okay, we'll find it and put a link in when we put this video up so people can follow you. And I, yeah. I noticed a Venmo, you people can donate through that, I assume. Yeah, we yes. have Venmo and PayPal donation, which is at the Running Rose or the Running Rose at Outlook.com. Okay. Um, and then we also have links to um, our charity as well to do direct donations to them. And you can go to their website as well, which is AchillesInternational.org. Okay, cool. And I have one more, well, two more questions. One, you're going to miss the opening day of school. So what are you going to do? I. <laughs> 
Let's go some blinds. <laughs> yeah. She's at school. All the time. Do you just get in the van and do a little school and then go yeah. run 10 miles, do a little school? Yeah. yeah. Jeez, our world is so funny these days, right? Yeah, that's how it works. That's how it works. Okay, yeah. so you don't need to do PE. You're doing PE right now, right? Got plenty of yeah. <laughs> Those credits are good. You're right? Yeah. You've got, got to tell you're 20. So, yeah. And you're running in the barefoot Vibram shoes. Let's just show folks, just in case. They've kind of fallen. I haven't seen those much these days, but why? Why, 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 why are you running those? I'm very curious. Because I absolutely love Vibram shoes. I used to, when I was very little, when I very first started running, I wore um, sneakers. Yeah. And unfortunately, I got bursitis. 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 Oh, bursitis, yeah. And I was trying to work out, like, was it like the shoes? Was it me? And I tried the Vibrams and I've never had a problem since. Nice. And another thing that's really good with the Vibrams is that it does the, works the muscles in your feet, which helps, and your, help, legs. And your uh, legs, which helps make your feet healthier and your legs healthier. More circulation, right? Yeah. yeah. So, okay, I said one more question. One more. <laughs> what What's the long term plan? Are you going to be a runner for a, in the Olympics? Or are you running to see you love it? Or you want to do something with running? One day with running, I hope. I can go to the Olympics when I'm old enough and I, I also do figure skating as well. I'm hoping when this is done, obviously COVID will be a lot better, I'm hoping. Right. So I can go back to my skating and I was hoping that when I do skating, I was going to make it to the Olympics because when I got too old to do skating, I would be just made the age requirement for running the marathon at the Olympics. Okay, cool. Well, I'll, uh, I'll keep an eye out for you. Good job. We'll get you, get you out of the sun. Thanks for a few minutes with us. Yeah. And uh, have you. a good rest of your run and good Appreciate luck. That. Thank you so much.